So um, this is Gideon Trust and um, this is the way I show. So it is rolling coming. Hey, if you don't get it, you should get it. Because me over here, my parents' salary is not increased each and every month. No, it's like you don't get it. Me mami wo hoi, ni pay yen tume every month, yen tume every year. Sometimes even if it's not promotion, trust me, it's difficult. So we can't be here for hostel managers to be tormenting our lives. We can't, we can't take it anymore. Trust me, Master Kelvin, if you are watching this video, and I know you get a copy of this video to watch, I want you to get this right. Before you leave your office, please, we are begging you, we are pleading, there is something you can do about this, that I believe you, because we said enough is enough, please. That was your mantle. So if enough is enough, please, hostel fees increment is enough. There's a hostel right beside here that I can't mention them now, but as a matter of fact, with time, I'll be mentioning names. Open tea, then who can kill? This was have been there since since. Open tea, then who can kill? Two four hundred cities. So if last year four in a room was thousand one, this year he's charging thousand five hundred for four in a room. So imagine if four in a room last year was thousand six, he's charging two thousand for four in a room, which is absolute nonsense. Jim, no, I don't like. I just don't want to be rude, but this thing is not. Is is not. Is not. I'm not getting this thing. I'm just not getting it. Like. Make you want me to ask you. I'm a bab. This thing is getting out of hand, Master Kelvin sir. And I think it's about time you address this issue. I was looking at like at Sosa that you, you address this issue, but I didn't address the issue. Fine, but we are still looking up to you because you are our student leader, you are our SRC president, and you know you can do this for us. This thing is getting out of hand. Maybe you are sitting there, somebody is paying your fees for you, you think you're on a scholarship, so what for where do you See, it's someone who's using his money to pay for you, and it's coming come a time the person will give up. The person is going to get fed up of paying that amount of money. So if you join us, advocate, so that these hostel managers, these things that they are doing, they will stop, then you better join this race, so that we advocate. We can't, we can't take it anymore. Like, this thing is getting, and I just know the bar, what... Do you get it? Like a hostel, that basement was thousand eight basement. That when it rains, that place even gets flooding. It's now charging two thousand five for that basement, which is just not making sense. It's not making sense. Basement, basement. That if you're standing, your head is almost hitting the roof. You are charging two thousand five hundred for two in a room. Are they not the same army? Master Kelvin, sir, we are counting on you. Enough is enough. That's what you said. So please, if something must be done, must be done now. Maybe I'm in final year, I'm running out of school. I'm, I'm getting out of school very soon. But I'm just thinking about those who are in second, third year, first year. If care is not taken before they'll get to final year, some will be paying 2,500 for four in a room. Some will be paying 3,000 for four in a room. Two in a room without air conditioning. Two in a room without nothing. A hostel beside here. It's charging 3,200. Just two beds, you pay your lights bill. It's charging 3,200 uh, 3, Ghana cities. Charlie. Before man up, before stand up against some things. Master Kelvin, sir, we are waiting for you. And I know second edition of this show will come. We know that people are trooping our first days are coming and looking for room to stay in. And we are counting on you that as soon as possible, do something for us. Do something about this hostel issue before it's too late. But if nothing is done, maybe I'm out, I've done my part. It's left to those in the institution to take care of themselves. Thank you.